Okay, so now you've learnt what the Doppler effect is and how we can calculate how big it is. Now the Doppler effect actually has lots of interesting applications. One of these applications involves ultrasounds. Ultrasounds are high frequency sound waves. So they typically are in the frequency range of around about 20 kilohertz up to gigahertz. Now with a typical ultrasound scan, the ultrasound technician sends the ultrasound waves into the patient and these waves are then reflected off the internal organs of the patient and from the time it takes for that echo or reflection to return to the ultrasound and the intensity of it, they can map out what's inside your body. So this is typically the ultrasounds that pregnant women get to see their babies inside them. But there is another type of ultrasound known as the Doppler ultrasound. The Doppler ultrasound detects the change in frequency of the reflected waves and this is really useful when doctors need to know how quickly blood is flowing through veins or arteries. So in conditions like deep vein thrombosis, which is where the arteries or veins get clogged up, this is a very useful type of scan to have to detect if the blood is flowing normally or not. Now radar also use, makes use of the Doppler effect. Radar stands for radio wave detecting and ranging. Remember radio waves are part of the electromagnetic spectrum. So they're like light waves but with a longer wavelength. So radar technology was developed during World War II as it was found that it was a good way to detect aircraft which were flying up above the clouds which you couldn't actually see with your naked eye. Now lots of people these days make use of radar. One set of people who make use of this is meteorologists. So meteorologists shine radio waves at storms and these are reflected back off the precipitation in the air. So the precipitation is just the little raindrops. And the raindrops typically move along with the wind in a storm. So by using the Doppler effect with the reflected radio waves, the meteorologist can work out how quickly the storm is moving and issue warnings if appropriate or make good forecasts about when storms are going to reach certain places. Now police also use radar guns to detect the speed of cars and these are also used in speed cameras. So they shine the radio wave at the car, detect the reflected signal, work out the frequency difference all inside that radio, radar gun and from this they can work out how fast the car is going. Now these frequency shifts are really, really small because the car is not travelling anywhere near the speed of light, which is how fast the radio waves are travelling. But we're actually really good at detecting these frequency shifts very accurately. So it does let police accurately calculate how fast a car is actually travelling. Now one of the most interesting discoveries that was made by using the Doppler effect is actually that the universe is expanding. So it was noticed that galaxies tended to be shifted towards the red. So the light coming from galaxies appeared redder than, it, than you would otherwise expect. So remember in the electromagnetic spectrum, red light has a longer wavelength than blue light. So this means that it's got a smaller frequency than blue light. And what a famous astronomer named Edwin Hubble discovered was that galaxies which were farther away tended to be more shifted towards the red than nearby galaxies. And from this he could tell that galaxies which were really far away were moving away from us faster than galaxies which were closer to us. So this was evidence that the universe is actually expanding. So this is now the accepted model in cosmology, that we had a big bang and since then everything's been expanding away from each other. And that was discovered using the Doppler effect. Okay, so I hope that now you're confident with the Doppler effect. You know where the equations come from, you can use those equations, you know some suitable demonstrations that you could show to students, and you also have a number of exciting applications that you can share with them.